Thank you very much. Um, I would like to start with, uh, I think it is Mr. Quadman. When an entrepreneur wants to finance an idea and she is not independently wealthy, she must approach an outside investor, possibly a friend, an angel investor, a venture capitalist or another institution, right? Now, how does this entrepreneur convince more sophisticated investors that her project, her idea, is worth financing? Later, as her business takes off, it seems she will need to attract a deeper pool of investors, many of whom may not have the benefit of having known about the project from the beginning. How does she convince these investors to commit their funds with various information about her company, including financial information, right? It seems that it is in the best interest of this budding entrepreneur to provide her investors with as much information as possible. If they do not receive this information, would you expect them to impose premium to cover their uncertainty about the project? This is an additional cost to the company, correct? Have you studied this cost? So could you just tell me yes or no? in two parts, uh, Ranking Member. Number one is if you are talking about a private company, we were part of a blue ribbon panel that looked at financial reporting for private companies. And what investors to private companies said, financial reports for private companies was not as important as what the idea was that the company was trying to sell. That is what angel investors were worried about. And gap accounting doesn't fit with private company accounting. Cash flow or cash burn is more important. So public company disclosures don't fit there. In terms of public company disclosures, I think what, you know, a study that sort of crystallizes it best is a study by Professor Larker out of Stanford University with the study he just released of large institutional investors who are, uh, have trillions of dollars in the market, that 55 percent of them said the current disclosure regime is too cluttered and 48 percent said they don't have the time to go through those disclosures. So this is a matter of let's figure out how to make it easier to have investors access the information and then also let them sort through the information that they find most material, because materiality for both private companies where disclosure is needed and public companies where we have decided that large amounts of disclosure is important, that's the key, that's the key threshold for how information should be disclosed. Professor uh, Galbadon, do you have thoughts about the importance of information to an investor's funding decision? In your opinion, what happens when investors have less information, less confidence in the information they have, or find it harder to compare the information to other companies? Who bears the cost of investor uncertainty? How do some of the bills being considered today affect investor confidence in American issuers, especially small businesses? It seems clear to me that to the extent several of the bills cut in the direction of reducing disclosure to investors, that that does come at a cost to the um, entities that are trying to raise capital. Uh, reduced disclosure increases investor risk. Without a doubt, the investor will uh, be interested in uh, seeking a higher return. Uh, and uh, therefore, to the extent a disclosure is reduced or there is less time made available for contemplation of what is disclosed, or to the extent that what is disclosed is not comparable to what is being disclosed by other, other entities, um, that is, um, it may reduce regulatory burden, but in my view it does nothing to assist capital formation. Thank you very much. I yield back the balance of my time. 